Our next lesson will cover routes of access. In the past, ACLS providers have administered drugs via the IV or ET route, but ET absorption of drugs is poor and optimal drug dosage is not known. For this reason, the intraosseous route is now preferred when intravenous access is not available. The priorities for vascular access are intravenous route and intraosseous route. In the IV route, a peripheral IV is preferred for drug and fluid administration unless central line access is already available. Central line access is not necessary during most resuscitation attempts as it may cause interruptions in CPR and complications during insertion. Placing a peripheral line does not require CPR interruption. If a drug is given via peripheral route of administration, IV push bolus injection, flush with 20 millimeters of fluid or saline, and raise extremity for 10 to 20 seconds to enhance delivery of drug circulation. Next, let's review intraosseous route. Drugs and fluids can be delivered safely and effectively through the IO route if IV access is not available. IO access can be used for all age groups, can be placed in less than one minute, and has a more predictable absorption than endotracheal route. That concludes our review of ACLS route of access.